Hello everybody and welcome back. We are playing some God of War. And last we left off, we were doing more stuff in Tyr's temple. And he was leaving us with some dainty little traps. So, where we left off at, I believe... I don't remember which room we have to go into. Which is a problem. Uh, here, let's, let's keep you open. Here, let's do this. Okay, yeah, 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 that's it. At what? Where are you at? Oh, did we already do that room then? I feel like we did these ones, man. Because I feel like we fought a bunch of enemies through here. There's already a chain through here. We already Atreus, been here. through this. Yes, father. No. You were wrong, boy. Okay, okay. Alright, okay. Alright. It was worth a shot. Okay. Truly, you hate this part. 
by now. Okay, cool. Cool. We made it. I messed that up. Good. I, for one, never doubted it. Right. Until gods grow good. Could be quite a week. No. They're just waiting for us. How can you be so sure? We'll save those, because we know we're going to get hit by enemies. Oh, 
Is that it? to stop saying flip the temple. It's starting to sound normal. All right, we gotta go through here. Another. It says his name is Bergelmir. I think Mother said he was the king of the giants. Aye, that he was. And quite a bit more. Looks like he had a lot of kids. That, little brother, is what we call an understatement. He's dead, but nobody killed him. You have to forgive me, I spilled something on my touchpad. They may, though it's rare among the legends. Yeah. Damn it. Brothers, I know what I promised, but in case this doesn't work, just remember Tyr had good cause to create these obstacles. He's kept Jotunheim out of Odin's reach, but the world is hardly at peace. No, but it's got hope. We're all working together now. We have unity. That's what the rune on the door to this place was telling us. We're on Tyr's path. This is where his obsession with tear comes into play. Look, boy, shut your mouth about tear. Tired of hearing it, boy. 
Lift with your legs, brother. He knows. Just trying to be helpful. I'll be quite happy to be on your side, brother. And we're not dead. That's a plus. <laughs> there, on the left. I think we can climb back up to the realm travel room from there. See that, Mimir? Nobody can do all this alone. All these obstacles. They're just chances to prove we're the ones who can beat them. We may argue. Me and Father. You and Freya. Brock and Sindri. But when we all work together, we do make a good team. And that's Tyr's test. That's why we're gonna make it to Yodin. Do you hear that, brother? Lad, sound his equilibrium. What's that mean? He means you speak wisely, Atreus. And that is good to hear. Ha! Huh. I guess the temple was made to be flipped. Look, the tree's upside down. Or are we? I'm not sure anymore. What's this over here? we got some sort of travel stone let me see great Aldumlazadas that's the unity stone you know it I wasn't sure it existed if Tyr possessed this that explains how he could visit all the realms and other lands to boot he held this in the panel in Odin's library Yes. Yes, that's it. I understand now. It shows Tyr walking the realm between realms. You know how you must never stray from the path. Well, Tyr always followed his own path, if you catch my meaning. The realm between realms. Sounds enticing. Tyr's shrine showed him stepping off the branch of the world tree. And you're thinking, to reach the secret path to Yodanon, that's what we need to do? I am. Oh dear. That is what you're thinking, isn't it? Good. I am more than okay with my brother self over the edge of the world tree just yet. In due time, boy. Ah, uh, really? Frigg. Well, that's more of a pet name, you see. It means beloved. Something Odin called Freya after they wed. Out of I'm sure. Rust, or so I like to believe. As things turned so, it became a way to manipulate the truth. Odin didn't want Freya, a Vanir goddess, getting credit for anything in Asgard. So anything worthy she accomplished was attributed to Frigg. That's the 
Hey! There was Baldur's mother all off. I used to do so much traveling between realms, they thought it would be more convenient for me than having a crystal I could lose. No! Because I wisely fortified myself with 16 cups of Billow Maiden's Ale. Not so inebriated, I tried convincing the giants to put them in my nipples instead. <laughs> <laughs> Almost talked them into it too. Can you imagine? Mimir of the Bifrost teats. <laughs> oh, those were the days. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I'll stop now. My brother and me got a new project, now that we're on speaking terms. What do you want? With the whetstone and hammer you've retrieved for us, Brog and I can construct the Devegrathika, dwarven armor of legend. We just need three more mythical ingredients before we set to hammer. Which are... Dunno. Armor's pure legend. And the details is fuzzier than a wolver's butthole. Who do you expect us to find parts from a legend? Oh, most of here, the dwarf king found two of them. Everyone knows that. But when he went looking for the third... Poof! He vanished. Maybe he'll find some clues at his stronghold in Konungsgard. And looky here. A Konungsgard entry stone. It's got your name on it. Hell fucking strange. The <clears throat> The stronghold's northwest of here, behind this Fartalfine realm tower. Large stone structure, creepy atmosphere. You'll know it when you see it. The Holder Brothers, back in action again. Oh, I can't wait to get started. I think I'd see such a day we was back to building as on my own all these years almost forgot how dang useful an extra pair of hands is i forgot how much easier it is to smelt scaps lag with someone else gauging the temperature That's a load up. <clears throat>
Okay, cool. Right, lots of luck. So what'd you find out there? In Virginia? You forget. I didn't forget anything. I simply just want to leave. I'm glad Brock and Sindri were able to work out their differences. Now they are twice as irritating. Oh, I think it's nice to see them trust each other again. All right. Mimir, All we gotta do is keep going this you way. Tyr felt responsible for what Odin did to the giants. There was an incident shortly after the forging of Mjolnir when Tyr arranged a diplomatic meeting between Odin and the giant kings. Well, this was when the Long War was young, and victory was still a thing dreamed of, and the Jotnar might have tipped the balance between Aesir and Vanir. Odin had persuaded Tyr that the hammer was merely a deterrent, a means to broker peace from a position of strength. Tyr was hopeful to convince all parties they would prosper best through peace. He knew the giants were deeply concerned about the hammer, a super-weapon in hands they did not trust. But they trusted Tyr. Tyr always believed the best in people, and taking Odin at his word and his desire for peace, he brought the Raven King to Jotunheim. Uh, from there, things unraveled quickly. The giants anticipated Odin's trickery and exposed his true agenda to spy and steal their secret wisdom. With magic, they expelled Odin from their realm and cursed him never to return. Frustrated. Odin visited his fury upon the giants of Midgard. Thor unleashed Mjolnir's might upon any giant he could find. None could stand against the tide of slaughter that followed. And at last, it seems, with Tyr's aid, they retreated. The tower disappeared, no giants could be found in Midgard, and no man nor god has set foot in Jotunheim since. Huh. Now we're getting somewhere.
Atreus. It Read says, that boy. Glory to Motsugir, the Dwarf King. May his reign be long, prosperous, and filled with peace. Greetings, and welcome to Conan's Guard. I just want to make sure you're good and prepared before heading in any further. There's all manner of nastiness left over from the Mad Dwarf King's foul practices. What kind of practices? Oh, various sacrificing, dark enchantments, blood, magic, and so forth. Oh, that's common good. Among the older dwarves, unfortunately. Old habits are hard to break. I wonder why you say that, buddy. Whoa. Another dragon. I see it, boy. Chain. I hope we can find the binding shrines. This place is huge. There we go. Now let's open that chest. Okay, cool. captured more than one dragon. He must have needed them to create this legendary armor. Interesting thought, lad. And it makes sense. Nearly everything about dragons is useful and contains power. Teeth, scales, even extra much. Shit. is having fun with you. Shut up. No, you don't. That's an impressive 
front door. These materials must be pretty special to make a legendary armor. This legendary armor better be worth the trouble. But if Brock and Sindri make it together, I'm sure it's worth the effort. Do you trust them at least? I trust you, Atreus. I do not trust the legend. Oh. Let's climb up here and see if we can't find anything. No, no, no.
Well, that was easy. Read this boy. Hold on. Let me read this. Hurry up, boy. <clears throat> Ready yourself, boy. Okay, cool. Show number two. This place is even bigger than Vader. Yes. The Dwarf King's reach appears vast. I wonder what happened to him. There's a great mystery, even amongst the sons of Ivaldi. Most of Mir's behavior before his disappearance grew increasingly erratic. Why? The Devegrath Eker. The very armor you find yourself searching for. So he found it. That wager his failure to find the third ingredient drove him to madness. Okay, let's get through there. Wait for me, boy. Alright, everybody. I think for now, this is a good stopping point. We got a lot done. We moved around a bit. We're doing a side quest, which is great, because that's what I like doing, is the side content. Not that I don't like the story, but it's what makes the game feel even more unique, and really builds that world. So, I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate you all, 
and 1K gang. Let's go.